Dr. Patterson, this took almost eight months between back and forth, the governors and the federal government. What were the challenges and do you believe they have been resolved? Yeah, following the announcement after the uh, National Economic Council uh, on Monday, uh, following the announcement made by the governor of uh, River State, Right Honorable Chibika Mechi, uh, the wrangling, the eight months uh, wrangling and negotiations are over. So how does this exactly work, especially with the ECA that also exists? Yeah, you know, the ECA that existed, you know, uh, the governors were uncomfortable with the, with the management of the ECA. And uh, recall that uh, we had uh, uh, close to 20 billion in 2007, which got depleted to uh, 7 billion, you know, uh, uh, shortly. So the governors were skeptical about the efficient and sustainable management of, uh, of the Sovereign Wealth Fund. But the Sovereign Wealth Fund being an excellent idea whose time has come, you know, considering the vagaries of uh, uh, the international oil prices as well as the macroeconomic instability, and even considering the political economy of uh, oil production in Nigeria, in fact, it is imperative that we should have the Sovereign Wealth Fund. The Sovereign Wealth Fund, the initial thinking appears to have been that it should ex replace the ECA, that excess crude account. The governors seem to think this should run concurrently. Is this usual or unusual? Yeah, it is, it is usual. Recall that, uh, in fact, it does appear people are losing sight of the provisions of uh, uh, the Fiscal Responsibility Act in section in part seven. In fact, part seven made provisions that savings should be made and then equally managed, but that particular savings in excess of the, the prevailing price of, of the crew that was set by the National Assembly for that year, every asset should go to that particular account, a separate account managed by the central bank. There has been a provision of that. That is what I might even regard as excess crude account. It has been accounted for by the law. But the Sovereign Wealth Fund, you know, has uh, three funds. You have... Uh, the uh, Future Generation Fund, Nigeria Future Generation Fund, uh, you have the Infrastructure Fund, and then you now have the Stabilization Fund, all in three, you know, these three in one, in Nigeria's Sovereign Investment uh, Authority. There have been some serious... So the two of the... Yes, go ahead. The, the two of them running concurrently, you know, it, it's not an aberration. This other one, one should feed the other, you know, coming to the funding. Sure. Basically, but it does appear that people have lost sight of that provision of the Fiscal Responsibility Act. F Speaking of the funding six. and fiscal responsibility involved in this, there have been concerns and allegations of, of financial impropriety, corruption, and the transparency of this is questioned. Will this be addressed? Yeah, this has already been addressed. I, I get that the Minister for Finance, uh, uh, Dr. Ngozi Okonji, well, I would have really disallayed the fears because... Uh, the people who are supposed to work in uh, the, the Sovereign Wealth Fund Commission were painstakingly you know, selected you know, through, uh, through means that were very transparent. So these are credible Nigerians, you know, even non-Nigerians that are there. So there's not going to be any issue where anything will happen to the money or maybe the money will develop wings and fly away. I don't think it's going to happen this time. And the governors, after eight months of deliberations and negotiations and all that, have come to see you know, the reality of the day. What is the progress of those people you talk about, the managing director, the board of directors, and really the oversight committee for this fund? Well, if I, if, if I really understood well the proclamation as, as I read it in the news yesterday uh, by uh, Right Honorable uh, uh, Chibika Amechi, the governor of River State, the MD and CEO are yet to be recruited, and this will equally be transparently done you know, uh, these are going to be seasoned Nigerians, seasoned bankers, seasoned investors that will make sure that the spirit and life and objective of this particular sovereign wealth fund, you know, should really be realized. Nigeria was just uh, one of three OPEC countries that do not have a wealth fund like this sort. So do you feel, believe that the intended intention of uh, ring fencing prices will now be achieved? Yeah, I, in fact, I'm, I'm glad that Nigeria has now joined uh, the OPEC members who have the Sovereign Wealth Fund. Basically, you know, the, 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 the country is just like, like an individual that has budget constraints. And considering what is happening recently, uh, last, last month the oil price was $110 uh, per barrel. 
But just last Monday, it was less than $80 per barrel. So you now see that we really need that to, we really need that kind of savings and investment in order to guarantee our future, to guarantee the stability of the economy, to guarantee that, in fact, those infrastructures that are not there will then be provided. In fact, I'm glad that that is the step in the right direction. And I thank the governors for their understanding, you know, in giving their assent, because the law provides that, you know, the Sovereign Wealth uh, Fund B B uh, Act provides that in conjunction with the National Executive Council, right. National Economic Council, which comprises all the 36 governors of Nigeria, including Abuja, you know, uh, they, they, will, they, they, will agree, they will agree and, uh, you know, give their consent in council. In fact, the oil price has fallen from $110 at the beginning of this year to about $80 right now. So the stabilization part of it is important. But do you feel or is it necessary that the, some of this money be used for building infrastructure around the oil industry, which right now is lacking? Yeah, remember that, as I said, in the Nigerian Sovereign Investment uh, uh, Commission, you have three, three, three types of fund. You have the future generation, Nigeria's future generation. The investment that will be done there will be diversified in such in a portfolio manner such that you know it will create the residuals or, or the or the interest for the future generation. You still have another one which is the infrastructural fund and equally have the stabilization fund. The, 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 the three work in concert, but the managers of that part of those funds or the CEOs and the MDs will then see, you know, with their with their expertise, will then know which area will have much, depending on the vagaries of the economy and the world uh, oil prices, what, Do what is happening globally. Dr. Ekocha, our thanks to you. That was Dr. Patterson Ekocha from the African Institute for Applied Economics.